Hey guys, Tech Manager with a video for you guys. In today's video, I want to show you how to fix this verification required tap continue and sign in to view your billing information or any of this verification that you get on the App Store on your iPhone. Now, there's multiple reasons why you might be getting this error message and we're going to want to follow this through. Of course, first, go ahead and enter your password if you need to. Now, once you have entered your password, first thing you need to check out if it's a billing issue. So if you have an unpaid balance or declined payment for any app or any subscription that needs to be cleared off. In order to check that, you can go to the App Store itself, click on your profile up top here. From there on, you'll see here, there's gonna be purchased or there's a subscription option. You can check out if there's any available here or if you click on your actual icon here for your account, you're gonna to wanna to sign in. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign. Okay, now once you're signed into your Apple account on your App Store, one thing you want to do is click on subscription and see if there's any subscription that has a red mark or says expired or past due. You need to pay those off or remove it. After you have done that, the next thing to check under your account would be manage pain. Check out your credit card option that's available. If you have an existing card that recently expired, you might need to go ahead and remove it and add a new one or add a different card here as well. So if you need to update it, go ahead and update your thing. And also make sure that the billing address is correct. If you have a billing address and the zip code isn't correct, you're gonna get that error message. And once you're done, just hit, you're gonna go back and check that out here. And then also country and region, make sure you're in the right country and region, sometimes that can change as well. And another thing you can do is if you're not using a managed payment, you can also add money to your account using a gift card as well if the balance is low you can add it using a card for to pay for things like your subscriptions as well so those are a couple things to check out on your account itself now another way to do is that if you're still having an issue is on your apple id account next thing you want to check out is your age on your account if you click on the name on your account you can check out certain things by signing in here and then from there on, you're going to enter your password. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my password. And once you entered your Apple password, this is just appleid.apple.com. You can check out certain things on it here. For example, you want to go ahead and, and we're going to click on this option here. And then personal information. Now your personal information, let's go ahead and click on personal information. We can see things like our birthday. You want to make sure basically if you have a birthday there that it's uh, at least a certain age. Some apps require it to be 13 or later, older. So if you don't have it, you, may, you can change that as well. And along with that here, you can also change your payment options here. So if you have a payment option set up on your account, and again, like I said, if it's expired or if you don't have a payment option, you can set one up. Same with the billing address and shipping address. Make sure that is correct and it will work for you. Lastly, if all of this doesn't work for you, you want to contact Apple support, ask them what's going on with your account. Usually they can also tell you something that maybe you don't see or you can't see it on your account. In order to do that, you just click on or go, you can Google search contact Apple, which is going to be under applesupport.com and you can click on billing and subscription will take you the option directly to either the app or allow you to kind of submit a ticket and it will open up and let you know what the issue is going on and why you're getting that. And that's it. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.